Hey guys, welcome to Cute Tea Drawings. Today I'll be drawing Titan Clockman from Scooby-Doo Toilet Multiverse. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, let's first off by drawing the shape of the head with a circle near the top. Now let's hop inside and let's add another circle for the border. Next, I'm going to zoom in and add the details. Let's start in the center and let's draw a swirl pattern. And then start in the center again and let's follow that same pattern all the way around on top. Now from the center, let's start drawing the Roman numerals. We'll start with the number one and then work our way around. And that's it for the face. Now let's move out and let's add the details. Let's start on the top left and let's draw a bump and one on the bottom. And now let's do the same on the other side. Now from the sides, let's draw a small curve down and out on both sides for the tops of the shoulders. Now let's move up on top of the head and let's draw a small curved rectangle. Then another smaller one on top. And then a skinny one on top of this one. Now from the sides, let's curve it down on both sides. And then bring it down to the shoulders. Now inside at the top, let's draw a small circle on both sides. Now let's draw the clock behind the head. Let's start on the side and let's draw a long line up on both sides. And then another line next to it. And then close off the tops with two lines. Next from the top, let's draw two more lines up. And then add a triangle at the top. Next, let's hop in between and let's draw two lines across near the top here. And the same thing below but behind the head. Now in the middle section, let's draw a circle. And then another circle inside this one. And now inside the center, let's draw the clock hands with two arrows. And now let's draw the clock numbers all the way around. Next, let's hop to the top and let's draw two curves. And then inside, a small circle. And then another circle inside this one. Now in the center on top, let's draw two curves going down. And then follow that same bump over and out on both sides. Now the top, let's add another point up and add two curves inside. Now along the top edge, let's draw small bumps going down.
And that's it for the clock on top. Now let's move back down and start drawing the shoulders. From under the head, let's draw a small angle down and then curve it back up. And the same on the right. And then add another curve inside. Now next to it, let's add another curve down. Then angle it up from the bottom and curve it back up. And then add stripe lines inside this one. Next, let's add the shoulder pauldrons starting with the left side. Let's bring it out and then curve it down. Now from the bottom, let's curve it in Bring it back up and then angle it up to finish it off. Now inside, let's add a border at the bottom. Now let's hop inside and add some details. Let's draw two angled lines on the bottom corner and then one more. And then let's add some wavy lines across. And that's it for the left side. Now let's hop over to the right side. Again, let's bring it out and curve it down. Then angle it back in at the bottom. Now from the top, let's draw two curved lines down and a V-shaped point at the end. And then let's draw two more in the same way. Now to close off the bottom, let's draw a curved line, but we're going to make it behind each of these pointed shapes. And then a border at the bottom. And that's it for the shoulders. Now let's hop up and let's add the clocks on top. Let's start on top of each shoulder and let's draw a curved rectangle shape. Then on top, let's draw two lines up. and then close off the top with a curve across. Next inside, let's draw a circle near the top. And then another circle inside each of these. And then let's add a small bent line inside for the clock arms. Next underneath, let's draw two lines down. And then from the sides, a bent line out and down like this. Next, let's hop on top and let's draw a line up on both sides. And then let's curve it back in towards the center. Next on top, let's draw two small angles up and out. And then close off the top with a small oval. Now let's hop in and let's add some details. Let's draw two curves across near the top. Then two more below it here. and then two more near the bottom. And lastly, inside that top section, let's draw three small circles on both sides. And that's it for everything on top of the shoulders. Now let's move down and let's draw the chest. Let's start underneath in the center and let's draw a large circle. And then let's draw another one inside for the border. Next, let's hop in and add some details. Let's draw another circle at the top. 
another one inside. And then a bent line for the clock arms. Next underneath, let's draw a wavy line across. Now inside on the sides, let's draw two gears. Let's start with bumpy lines all the way around. And then a small circle inside. Lastly, inside on the bottom left, let's draw a small line and then two curves coming down to a point. And that's it for the details. Now let's move out and finish drawing the torso. Let's start on top and let's draw two lines down from the head. And then add striped lines across inside. Now on the right, let's draw three curves. And on the left side, let's draw a circle. And then add some striped lines inside. And again, let's draw three curves, but this time behind the circle. Next, let's hop over on the left side and let's draw two diagonal lines and then two more. And add some stripes inside near the top. Now let's hop over and for the side, let's draw three angled lines and then two bent lines out and up. Now top to the sides and let's draw angles down for the sides of the body. And then connect it at the bottom. Now inside the top right, let's draw two lines across. And then a small rectangle shape on both sides near the bottom. And that's it for the torso. Now let's move out and draw the arms. From under the shoulders, let's draw two angles down and out on both sides. And then a curve across the bottom. Next inside, let's add a curve along the top edge. Now underneath the inside, let's step in and let's draw an angle down. And now let's add the armor on the forearm. We'll start by drawing the right side. We'll start by drawing an S-shaped curve down like this. Then curve it down from the outside and close it off at the bottom. Now let's add some details inside. Let's we'll draw a curve V-shape near the top and close it off. Then let's leave a gap and let's draw a small line, two lines down, and an angle to close it off. Now we're going to do the same thing on the left side, but we're going to modify it slightly to add the gun. So we'll start again with the S-shaped curve down. And this time from the top, let's draw a small curve down. Then we'll start drawing the gun by bringing a line in, down, and angle it out. Now to finish off the armor, a curve at the bottom and then close it off. And again, let's draw the curve details inside. Next, let's move down and underneath both sides on the bottom corner, let's draw a curve down and then a bent line to close it off. Next, let's move in and draw the hands. We'll start with a curve down and back up on both sides for the thumbs. Then let's draw 
three bumps underneath to close off the hands. Next, let's hop back over on the left side and let's finish drawing the gun. From the bottom line we drew earlier, let's draw a skinny rectangle all the way down. Then inside, let's draw three small black circles at the top. And then two curves underneath. Next, let's hop to the top and let's draw a large circle. Then another one inside for the border. A smaller one in the center. And then two lines for the clock arms. Now I'll start underneath on the left and let's draw a small curve down. Then an S-shaped curve down to the right and back up. Now let's draw two more of these curved shapes underneath. And then lastly, one more curve down and in. Now underneath, let's draw a square shape. And then add two small rectangles inside. And now underneath the square, let's draw a line down and then angle it down. Now let's hop back up next to the circle and let's draw a small line out. Bring it down and back in. And then add one more vertical line inside. And that's it for the gun. Now let's move back inside and draw the legs. Let's start underneath the torso in the center and let's draw a V-shape. And then add a line across. Now let's hop to the sides and let's draw a curve down on both sides and then curve it back up. And now inside each of these, let's draw two curves across the center. Next, let's hop in and near the top, let's draw a curve out and then bring it down. And the same on the other side. Then from the bottom, let's draw curved lines all the way back up, forming a bumpy line. And now inside, let's draw two diagonal lines across. And now let's draw two curves going down behind it, like this. And that's it for the hip armor. Now let's move in and draw the legs. Let's start in between and let's draw a curve across. And then underneath, let's bring it down on both sides and then continue it underneath slightly like this. And then let's hop out and let's draw another set of diagonal lines down for the outside of the legs. Next, let's draw the armor on the knees. Let's start with two lines out, forming a V-shape. And make it longer than the legs on both sides. Then let's bring it down from the ends. And then another V-shape underneath to close it off. Next, let's hop on top and let's draw another point up. and then another one inside. Next, let's move in and let's add some details on the upper leg. Let's start underneath the torso and let's draw a U-shaped curve across. And the same thing underneath. Now inside, underneath the triangle, let's draw two curves down on the left and on the right. 
Now let's continue those lines below by angling it down. And then continue on the other side of the armor down to the knees. And that's it for the upper legs. Now let's move down and finish drawing the rest. Let's start underneath the knees and let's draw two curves down on both sides. and then close off the bottom with a V-shape. Next, let's move inside and let's draw another point at the bottom. Then a line up. And then two more V-shapes on top. Now let's move inside at the bottom and let's draw a curve up and bring it back down and in. Now underneath, let's add the feet. We'll start with two curve lines down and out. Then from the outside line, let's curve it over and in. And then close off the bottom of each foot with a curve across. And that's it for Titan Clockman. Now let's quickly color it in. And done. Hope you enjoyed drawing along with me. And please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.